Digital Ocean Spaces is an object storage service where you can store and serve its files. It's simple enough to manage spaces in the console, but you can also use the command line with AWS S3 compatible tools and libraries. This allows the developer to automate and version control various storage related tasks. To do this, we'll be using the AWS CLI with the Digital Ocean Spaces access key. First, we have to set up our credentials. Type AWS configure and fill in the prompts with your Digital Ocean Spaces key and secret. For region, type US East 1. It's an AWS region required by the SDK. The Digital Ocean region will be parsed out from the endpoint. Finally, choose your output format. I usually choose JSON. If you are chaining commands, you can often pass the output back in as a parameter without changing the format. Otherwise, you can also get your output as YAML or tab separated text. Once we have that set, we can test the connection. The S3 commands are an abstracted set that only work with AWS, so we'll be using the S3 API, which gives us more control. To test the connection, we'll list our buckets. Here you can see the buckets created for our previous videos. Let's create a bucket. We're going to call it spaces-walkthrough-2022-CLI. DigitalOcean has private and public permissions for new files uploaded to the bucket. By default, all files are set to private. We'll set the default permission level for this bucket to public. And we'll use the set of credentials we set up previously. Finally, we'll set the endpoint, which will target DigitalOcean in the CLI. We can find the bucket if we list the buckets again. Let's add a file to our new bucket with put object. Next, we'll have to define our target bucket and the file name we want it to have as its key. AWS doesn't have a true folder system, but you can give it a prefix like folder name slash file name for the same effect. For now, we'll just add our new file.md into the root of the bucket. We also need to set the body as whatever our source file is. We'll use new-file.md. Finally, add the profile and the DigitalOcean endpoint. You can see if the file has been added with list-objects-v2 by declaring the bucket, profile, and endpoint URL.
To download the file, we use get object using the bucket name, file name, profile, and endpoint URL. You also need the path to the output file, which has to be the last argument. And let's quickly verify that the file does exist. Now it's time to clean up our resources. You can delete a file using delete-object with the bucket name, file name, profile, and endpoint URL. When you try to list the objects of an empty bucket, it will only return an empty string. To delete a bucket, use delete-bucket with the bucket name, profile, and endpoint URL. When you list the buckets, the bucket we've been working with is gone. That was how you can manage your digital ocean space in the terminal with the AWS CLI in minutes. Leave any questions in the comments and happy building!